Sorry. I forgot to get your trail. Sorry about that. I got it. I, I'll clip it. You know what I'll do? I'll do this and I'll hold the camera while I, while I roll real slow. And if you can bring scissors, I'll even cut it for him. I'll cut, I'll cut a new one. Are you doing your lazy doll eye? Did you do that for a second? <laughs> you guys, you guys have to see when Michael does his lazy doll eye. It kind of creeps me out. Good morning, everybody. How are y'all? Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening from wherever you're watching from. Here live at countertopepoxy.com. Um, thank you so much for TikTok for notifying everybody. No, please let us know if TikTok notified you that we're going live. I don't know if I'm talking to myself or talking to anybody, but please let us know because we've been kind of getting um, shadow. I don't know if I can say it. I don't know if I can say these words. I don't know what words I can say to you guys. But we did click 18 and older, so if you have a toddler in the room, please don't report me. Just hold his ears every once in a while, because sometimes I say stupid things. So, all right. I'm excited for what we have for you all today, guys. This is probably one of my favorite things to do, is wood graining. So, it just looks flipping beautiful. So, I'm going to try to hold the camera here, guys, and roll at the same time. So, I hope I don't disappoint. Oh, see, now you don't always get an opportunity just to talk crap where I actually get to see the comments because usually they don't say anything rude to me. Sometimes they do. But usually they won't read me the ones here that that are probably the funniest ones. So now if you want to talk crap to me, I'm actually reading it. So feel free. Let me know what you think about my skill level and what I'm doing here. My little girl actually, um, she's turning 15 on Thursday and she does some of our social media question and answering and it's funny she's like daddy some people are saying you always ruin the samples and that you go too far that it looked nice until you finished it and stuff and I'm like you know what they're probably just telling this telling the truth you can't it's like funny I'm like I'm sure that you're gonna read something worse than that about me if you keep answering these like me ruining an epoxy sample is the best thing I've ever done thank you for the love guys thank you thank you So yeah. Victor, Victor followed us. Victor, Victor, thanks for the follow. Thank you guys. I love when you all follow our channel. It's a big deal to us. We're, we are a very small company and we have been kind of struggling for TikTok. They've been pulling our page quite a bit. And um, I wore a shirt that said, unalive your local kids, kid herder. And we've had our channel kind of shadow banned ever since then. And I'm hoping we can get the live channel, the live views back up. So try to share us if you can. Unless you're like at work and you're being sneaky, then don't share us just in case your boss sees it. Sneak and watch in the mop closet. Georgia dog, thank you for being here, bro. You guys have skills. You guys have, I guarantee you, just come to a class. Let us know where you're going to join us for the next class. That is one thing. We do have the most comprehensive epoxy classes in the world, and we're going all over the world this summer. So. Hope to see you, whether you're in Colorado, Florida, we're going to California. Um, looking for a spot in Texas. We don't have a guaranteed venue in Texas yet. So um, the spot in Houston I used to teach in, the guy sold the building. So I'm looking for a Houston or a Dallas or one of the major cities in Texas. Um, but then we're going to be in the United Kingdom over in London for a class here in two months. So come over there and do a vacation. and have a class or come to um, Italy after that or South Africa or back to back to Florida again. This is self-leveling. Self There's a lot of powder in this because I'm wanting to do a um, wood graining effect. So it's self levels but very slow, but that's also why you see it bond to that edge so well. That's why the edges are so sweet. So, coming to Phoenix. I would go to Phoenix. I, lo I love Phoenix. I, t I teach at Idal in Phoenix sometimes, but I think this year they're going to be um, in North Carolina or something like that. Um, where in California and how long? Um, probably LA, and it's usually a three or a four day class. So and it's definitely, we go over floors, countertops, walls, and you guys will pour sample after sample, and a lot of times we go on job sites actually too. Um, we're doing one um, classroom potentially where it's just a, like, oh, the Florida class coming up in two weeks. We're, we're actually pouring. That's going to be, if you're coming into the Florida class, that's kind of the place to be next week or in two weeks, whatever, because we are taking an elderly couple's house and 
a really sweet couple and we're going to be going in and doing all for free and thanks to your guys' help and being willing to come and do some of the work as class members, we're going to remodel the countertops, floors, shower wall, backsplash, and some outside sidewalk. Honest EP? Um, sweet P. Sweet, sweet P, what a sweet name. I like that name, Sweet P. Willie Ray, Willie Ray. With a name like Willie Ray, it sounds like you probably waste a lot of product too. You don't need a word. No, this actually is a true zero VOC um, product, so we don't use IM lung protection or condoms, but thank you for asking. Live in Dallas. Live in Dallas? Dude, Dallas. Thank you for watching, Amanda. How much working time do you have? We have a long time right now. We poured this at about 82 degrees which is relatively cool for a product like that. We let it exotherm a little bit. So we could probably pour this for, good to see you, really well. So we could probably pour this for a few hours. How do I sign up for a class if you want to know? Yeah. How do you sign up for a class? Um, go to the link in the bio and we have all our classes listed there and that's usually the best place right on our website where it says um, workshops um, just look up workshops and that's kind of the um, probably the most updated place we keep all of our stuff so here we are guys Robert said Houston watching you Houston Robert Robert thanks for being here Robert is that Robert Ward okay I'm gonna do something y'all um, I'm gonna make a trowel here so I'm taking a plastic putty knife, hold the scissors the right way, and I'm gonna make... Can I do a cracked counter? Cracked, um, cracked counter? I don't know, you can do crack and then do your counter maybe, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what a cracked counter is, but I don't wanna see that. Maybe it has like a crack in it. Maybe it has a crack in it, yeah. I have a crack in it, so yeah, you could probably do a cracked counter. Um, just there's different ways to seal it up or bind it. Just send us pictures, let us know what you're working with, and we'll tell you how to fix it. What's that? How long does it take to set up? Um, this right here, I would say, don't set anything on it for at least 24 to 48 hours. Um, it's gonna feel hard to the touch though in about 15, 16 hours. But just give it that time. Let it cure. Let it get hard. Give it. Um, I also mix very thoroughly. Um, I mix it at a warm temperature, so I always start out at about 70, 75 degrees. I never mix colder than that. And then I always mix until my product gets up to about 80, 85 degrees. Um, obviously, I follow the mixing, instruction, the mixing instructions, but I kind of go overboard on my mix. But I'm really careful. I watch it with a thermometer because, an infrared thermometer, because pretty soon, if you're not careful, it'll kind of get away from you. But when you get good at pouring hot product, Remember, you have less working time, but you get way harder, way um, more beautiful cures much faster. And you can get back onto using your countertops without damaging them. It's kind of cool the way it is. We right? It does kind of look cool already. Well, unfortunately, you're on my channel and I just messed things up, so I'm sorry, but thank you for the love, y'all. Okay, thank you for the love. Guys, it's a big deal when you guys hit that like button, follow, share, all that shit. People always try to log in and just watch me for free. So here we are. I'm gonna spray some red copper and you gotta trust the process, guys. I, I know right now is when I usually piss people off because they think they see something so perfect and they don't wanna see me mess it up. And yeah, of course I can mess this up, but I also kinda know what I'm doing. I wanna do kind of like a dirty redwood look. Remember the, we're going to be scraping this, so I'm going to be kind of mixing the colors in. So the more I spray right now, I can go really overboard on it because after I sand this, you're really not going to see that much of what's down right now. You're going to see really sharp striations. So it'll be nice looking, but, um, Oh, just go right on the website. You can buy any kit you want to, or you can call our website or, or call our office and talk to any of the girls and we'll work you right through it and tell you, like, let us know what colors you're wanting. Because remember, you could do this with a black base with, you know, any color you want on top. We're just, we just happen to be picking the bronze color with black. And I think that was gold, right? Gold and copper. 
Yeah, gold. Oh yeah, gold, copper on bronze, and black on bronze. Um, is it pretty similar to installing traffic coding? Traffic coding? Oh, I'm not sure to be honest. I'm. Not, I guess I probably don't know what traffic coding is exactly. I apologize. Where is it? Hey, hey. Hey, Laura. Laura, good to see you on here, Laura. Thank you for. Thanks for always watching out for us, Laura. One of our. Uh, one of our best supporters, you know. I'm going to show you all a fundraiser we're about to do here too, so we'll see what you guys think. We're trying to raise money for a mission project. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now, I know I don't, I'm not supposed to do this. This is really bad news. I'm not supposed to do this, guys, but I think I'm going to. Uh, white marble with dark blues and grays. All right. No, I never spray spray paint on anything, anybody. I'm very against spray paint. There's a lot of reasons why I'd never use this on a house. But there's a lot of fun reasons why I might spray something just to make it look pretty. What? I think we're just shadow banned, so thank you guys so much for following along. That's why I say that it, you have no idea how much it means when you all follow us, because we definitely have been getting shadow banned pretty bad lately. Telling, telling people to unalive their local pedos is not something TikTok likes to see, I guess. Or probably U.S. lawmakers that don't like it, but I love y'all. I love y'all so much, and thanks for following. So now, now that I have just a random mix of colors, I'm going to take a little Mr. Bear Claw. And drop them down here. I'm gonna try to do this as straight as possible. I, I used to try to get fancy and try to do a knot hole and things like that, and that's great, but it never looks as good as if you just keep primarily just your wood grain. And remember, you're not just trying to run this and make a pass and quit. Really take your time and work back and forth across this because you're just trying to mix all these colors and stripes down under the surface, and then if we come back and we sand this, it's going to kind of cut through all those colors and you're going to get an amazing wood grain look. Sometimes it actually looks so realistic. I did a kitchen table for my sister and everybody thinks it's real wood. So, oh, she has blind kids come over all the time. I'm joking. <laughs> um, th yes, this is a food, considered a food safe product, but just remember guys, that's the FDA saying that. And we have taken this product and made it as food safe as you can make an epoxy by removing all the, the known um, harmful carcinogenic chemicals. But most companies don't do that and they can still get sa food safety ratings because of lobbyists who have lobbied for huge chemical companies allowing a lot of pretty nasty products to be put in most resins. So really watch what you're buying and where you're buying it from and see if they give a crap about you or just a little bit of a profit margin. So. Jeanette said, uh, Laura invited her, and she said, thanks for the invite, I would have never known. Thank you for the invite. Thank you, guys. Thank you for sharing, guys. Kind of pissing me off that China's been shadow banning us, but God bless you all. Angry, angry people. Yeah, watch us on YouTube. If you guys come, o come over and follow us on YouTube, that's a huge deal. We are really, thanks to all our shadow banning on here, we are really trying to grow our YouTube channel, and it is going really well. And we have much longer videos on there, too. So if you like the content you see on here, we have much longer, uh, more organized, not organized, but uh, you can really go into detail on YouTube and do longer format videos and stuff like that. So we can really show you entire projects, not just bits and pieces. Not just the bits and pieces. So what about the edges? The edges? I'll do the same thing, but I usually let that set up a bit on the edge before I do it, so it's just a little bit harder, but that's a very good question, y'all. And these ends, they should look really nice just by the way it's going to, it should drip off those ends pretty nicely. And I think I'm about done scraping it for now, for just a second. Now I'm gonna... What is shadow banning? Shadow banning is where they take, because they don't like you, or some content they've seen you put out and they um, quietly um, ban your account. They don't, they don't actually let you know they're banning it, but things like not notifying people that you're going live, they'll limit a ton of your messages. The other day we realized that it, we actually had people in the office commenting and we couldn't see their comments. And we did that just to see if we were getting shadow banned. And 
we were having a ton of our comments um, had to be approved, which that's not normal. So, I mean, and to my knowledge, we've never allowed anybody hateful on our channel or anything like that. So, I had, I had a really nice job for a good friend of mine, and I finished the whole thing, and it's a really big kitchen, um, all white marble, and there's one big red ginger beard hair right in the edge of the countertop. So yes, it's like in the most prominent spot you could ever want to see a beard hair, or not want to see a beard hair while you're cooking, so. Dude, stitch man embroidery. God bless you. I hope you all go and hit him a follow too, or her a follow. Thank you so much for following us. Did you have to redo the counter that had your beard in it? No, I think they like me enough. They were okay with it, and I kind of thought it was funny. So, it was a friend of mine, so I don't believe I charged anything for the job anyways. But if they want me to come down and polish it out, or ever report, I will. I think that most people would think that's the sexiest thing in the world to have on their countertop. No, I'm kidding. That's a joke. Sorry. Stitch cow embroidery. Stitch cow embroidery. I am sorry, and good luck. We will go over onto YouTube too. So definitely, anybody that wants to follow us on YouTube, give us a follow over at our countertop epoxy channel, and we're putting out a lot of content on there. So, and good, very good content. That's an amazing following we've gotten over there recently. Um, you could, I've seen people, but usually we just pour it seamlessly, so I have seen people that try to do it as a tile pattern more, but I usually prefer to just um, prep my whole surface, get it all smooth, and then pour one big seamless piece. I mean, you can pour this as long as you want. I've, I think I've poured like over 70 feet in length of countertop before. Great Lakes. Thank you, thank you for being here, and I am sorry. I'm glad we're supporting each other, though. Everybody, if somebody's out there, go give them a, give everybody a follow out there, and let's share each other's stuff, and let us know if you have a YouTube channel to go on to, because so far YouTube's a little safer for us. I'm gonna show you guys our new entryway and our photo that we went and did a raffle on the weekend. But it only raised a small amount because it was local and we live in a cheap valley we're, and we're trying to raise a little more money than that. And Diamond Coat's going to be matching the money um, to a place called DignityMissions.org. So if you look up DignityMissions.org, they're actually building a, um, a school in Nigeria and they've already built it. I've been working with the place and the director, um, Dr. Ankana, now for several years and he's a really amazing man. And we're giving away one of our biggest recent art pieces and you can buy raffle tickets for $10 a piece by going on dignitymissions.org um, to buy that raffle ticket. We just want to see, we're going to leave this live, I believe, and kind of advertise it for 10 days starting today, whenever we go on lives. And I'm going to show you guys this in just a minute. It's a huge, massive art piece. All you'll have to do is pay for shipping, and shipping will probably be like two, $300 or something like that, but we will definitely put that together. And we're actually matching every dollar um, every dollar donated up to three thousand dollars so hopefully we raised some awesome money it's really cool during um, COVID a lot of people didn't talk about it but over in Africa there was whole whole villages just starving and um, it was one cool thing is to see that every single penny we donated went directly to the kids it wasn't for airfare for missionaries to go visit or anything every single penny went right into surgeries for kids and food feeding the kids so and we called our local backpack program here and they didn't even return our call trying to raise money for them. And we raise money for them quite often too. So, so I'd rather support a mission where a little goes a long ways and where you actually get to see the exact results. As long as your old laminate isn't totally failed or delaminating, it works very well to pour over old laminate. Now I'm about to hose this grill down. Thank you, Jeanette. It was fun and very interesting, wasn't it? Well, I agree. The Great Lakes, that's, I think we're like on our 12th suspension. Now, now I will say, sometimes when TikTok has suspended me, 
I was probably the one in the wrong for things I said, but I mean, I should have been knowledgeable enough not to say them on TikTok. But quite a few of the times we had no idea why we got pulled. I guess they just like to pull people off. Yeah, we will. Definitely check our Insta, but yeah, the, it is in the bio, um, the Insta link is, but definitely go check us out on YouTube too. That's probably the funnest spot to watch us for long format videos. Oh, and before we get too hot, I'm so hot, I can speak Swahili. Ooh, it's not hot at all, it's perfect. No, no, it's good, man. How, how much is that? You know, that's just an actual sample piece. So again, I'll say that if you go give a donation of, let's just say $250 and pay for shipping, you can have anything we do in the classroom. If you give a donation, we don't want any of the money, you can go directly and give, donate it to them. But, but anything you want to buy out of our classroom, any of the um, stuff we do, as long as you donate to one of the charities, um, you're more than welcome to, and, and cover shipping. Um, and you're more than welcome to have anything we sell. They claim drug use and paraphernalia because I had a goose call and I was blowing it. Ha! <laughs> Great Lakes. Great Lakes cracked calls. Oh, Sorry. Oh, for the classics. Okay. So this is, um, this is Pecky Cypress. It is a wood that, as you can see, um, has had, um, it's actually a fungus that eats the center of the wood out. Um, so by the time it all dries out and they mill it, it always has these huge voids. So this is a, um, some planks we got. And um, they're pretty thin. They're about 3 quarters of an inch thick. And we filled them with black epoxy and a casting mold. But I really want to just be able to polish this without epoxy on the surface. So I don't know if you all see. Like sometimes it looks pretty to have like a coat of clear on top of something. But one of the things I've really loved to do is just work as much of this product into the actual wood surface as possible to seal the wood and then wipe all the excess off. And then instead of coming on here and having a layer of epoxy on top, um, we can actually polish this with nothing. And it, uh, because the wood is impregnated with epoxy, you like that word, impregnated? Yeah, TikTok, ban that one. Um, um, because it's like it, it, it turns into like petrified wood, and it's awesome. It's so beautiful. I think you guys are going to like it. So the Prove Jeanette's comment. There's a fungus among us. There's a fungus among us. There is, Jeanette. So yeah, this is like probably one of my favorite, favorite things to work with right here is Pecky Cypress. It's just beautiful. And I've been wanting to watch this piece get done for a long, long time. And we're going to give it to the person that started the project when it's done, but I want it to be done first. So so take your time when you're working this in. Don't, don't be in a hurry. There's no need to be in a hurry right now. Um, Really just let the product soak in as much as possible because we are wanting to seal it very well. Work those cracks. Oh. Leave, I guess what I watched in honor of you. Would you watch Spaceballs? <laughs> um, Step Brothers. Oh, Step Brothers. And I just mm -hmm. realized how much like, you quote that movie. I do quote it, it too much. It's so been a long time since I watched it. You realize yeah, all the stupid crap I say? I do like me some stepbrothers. I'm trying to find some here so I can make memorial piece for my husband's mom. Oh, yeah. You know what? I don't know where I found this. I think we might have even... I, um, somebody we work with um, bought this originally, and we're just finishing it for him. Um, but as far as, like, most of the pieces I've bought, I've bought most of them on, like, eBay and stuff like that, as crazy as that sounds, or just Googling lumber suppliers, so. Sean said that's a horrible way to use that epoxy. Jeez. Thanks, Sean. Thank you, Sean. I love, I love your input, Sean. Thank you for being in a good mood today. I hope your day's going well, Sean. And, and if you have anything educational, I'd love to learn. So definitely, Sean says this is a horrible way to use epoxy, and I bet you he has some really good thoughts to it. So I love just sealing wood with epoxy. I don't always like to have a huge layer on the top surface, and you'll be kind of surprised at the difference in look you get versus a sheet of epoxy on top. And that's kind of what we're doing right now, is we're just sealing this up. It's already been sealed once, but I kind of went back with the Festool and sanded it back with a 500 grit and just flattened it out just a little more and exposed some of the wood a little bit. 
and there was a few little voids that just weren't quite sealed up and that's what I'm trying to kind of target right now is those couple little voids that weren't 100% sealed in here because I want this to, have to be a perfect sheen polish on top. Great Lakes quotes Step Brothers all the time. What's that? Great Lakes uh, quotes Step Brothers all the time. Great Lakes, it's like one of the purest movies that you could quote. Heather says that's so pretty. What will make your shoulder feel better? What will make, make my shoulder feel better? How do you know my shoulder hurts? <laughs> they laugh too. What is, what is, what, I don't know. Did my, does my shoulder hurt? Yes, it does. My right shoulder? That's funny. I broke my left shoulder when I was young. And then I think I broke my right shoulder about three years ago. Is that fiberglass resin? Nope. This is countertop oh. epoxy resin. We're from Grand Junction, Colorado. Where are you guys all from? Let us know where you're watching from and what you'd rather see. And like I say, like somebody out there saying this is the, a bad use of product, please, I, I, I do not dissuade negative comments. That could be a positive comment if you educate me. So please let me know how I should use this a little better. I usually learn oh, most here. dropping oh. bombs in the house. Mm -hmm. Dropping bombs, what a gangster. I hope you drop lots of bombs. Florida, Chicago, Minnesota, Florida, Chicago, Florida, Minnesota, Austin, Texas, Austin, Oklahoma, Buffalo, New York, Oklahoma, Buffalo, Southeastern Kentucky, Kentucky, what, tell me about Kentucky, tell me more, describe Kentucky in one sentence, it looks beautiful to me, but I want to know, is it a place to go vacationing, probably relax, keep that Colorado out of my Kentucky, is there fried chicken on every corner, do you really know the Colonel? No, I don't know. I, it looks like a beautiful state. I don't know. The shoulder quote, someone said it's a stepbrother's quote. Oh, shit. Michigan here. See, I didn't know that, damn it. Fresno, New Mexico, Texas, Western Northern Texas. Northern Texas? You, we have a lot of people in the house here. Thank you for sharing. Miami, Florida? Um, oh, what was this product you This is um, our countertop epoxy. It's our black label product, so it's our... It's our um, premium countertop resin that we sell. That's our true zero VOC product, non-hazardous. It's very hard, very clear. It hardens extremely hard, extremely clear, very color stable for an epoxy. Jeffrey um, said, I got a sawmill and cut a lot of two inch walnut and cedar. Jeffrey, that is like my dream retirement, dude, having a sawmill like that. I grew up in uh, Montana and Idaho as a kid. But nobody has sawmills anymore. I'm glad to know there's a few badass people out there still doing that. Mike White's a church at every corner. Mike's in New Jersey. New Jersey? A church at every corner? Pedophiles everywhere. Retirement, not vacation. Retirement? No more, Maryland. Notice I'm scraping all the excess off because I'm just going to polish this. Australia, Louisiana, Australia. We're in Australia. I went to Brisbane and the um, Gold Coast, Byron Bay, Surfer's Paradise. I love that place. You guys are the most friendly Australia. I don't know. If you've never been to Australia, guys, the friendliest people you'll ever meet. Great Truly. Get back to work. What's that? Great Lakes had to go back to work. Great Lakes, God bless you. I hope you have a badass day, Great Lakes. Detroit, Alabama, Georgia. Carmen said we have the best food in New Mexico. Carmen? That, damn, that sounds good. I'm so hungry right now. I want some of the best food in anywhere. New Mexico, that's a good, that's damn good food if it's the best in New Mexico. Okay, I'm liking this. Are you guys liking that? I ain't sad. So I would need to purchase the epoxy from you if I wanted to do that. Yes, sir. Yeah, you need to just call our office. So we ship all over the world. So we're a small company, but we are clearly, clearly, and you can kind of look it up. We're the best. Look at our reviews. We still, we're one of the only companies that still makes our own product. We're not outsourcing at all to like Chinese chemical companies and everything. So, and all these like supposed small brands now, they're all selling off to a huge company called Polytech right now. And maybe that's why I got shadow banned. So it's like a multi-billion dollar um, corporation and they have purchased about every competitor we've had in the last 10 years. So. Naples, Florida. Naples, Florida. 
Um, you know, that's a good question. What temperature to use the epoxy? I always say minimum of 70 degrees just because you really want um, that product to be able to chemically cure properly. And, and when it gets under 70 degrees, um, the reaction between the hardener and the resin um, is, is just not adequate. That's called an exothermic reaction. And it needs, for a really good product like this that doesn't have a lot of solvent in it and this has zero solvent, um, if you ever see stuff that can cure in really cold weather, a lot of it is actually solvents that allow that because it's still just evaporating. But a product like this that's really pure, make sure you control that exothermic reaction and the temperature in the room. It will really help your job. So just turn the heater on. You don't have to keep it warm forever. Just give yourself a good 24 hours with good temperature. So. Oh wow, that dude, I've made a few mantles and that is so fun. I'm sure I haven't done anything like you, but I want to do, I have a big chunk of Pachy Cypress that I want to do a, a fireplace mantle out of and it's just been so much work. I tried to cut it in half. I, it's just finally, I've kind of stuck it in the corner and quit working on it. So I'll try to do that again. So there's the best artist in the building, Anna. True gangster. Yeah. She really is. Northern Colorado, come to Grand Junction. We're in color we're in Colorado right here, and you can be at our main facility here. Here is our showroom. I forgot we have the showroom open right now. So let me know what you think. This is what just came back from our home show. We have all of our flooring samples here, our white marble. This is actually iron with blue. This here is a real copper. I hope you guys see the reflection off this as he pans by. This is actually polished copper, and coming out of the blue is like real raw copper, like a penny. It's like a polished penny. Um, and that is actually real metal, so it's kind of neat. Um, then you have, this is, I don't know what I'd even call that, just black and gold and green. Just I tried to do a really simple one, um, right, and then I did do a stencil on it with real metal. This is true metal too. This is um, copper and brass. Um, I just haven't polished this as much. I need to come back and polish this all and we could make this shine. Um, just a really simple gray one, more of a slate. I think we should probably satin that and, and hone this to, to take the gloss off so it looks more leathered. I think that would be really awesome. Here, the guy holding the camera, there's another badass artist. The guy holding the camera did this. Every time I like leave, the videos just get better for some reason. I can't figure it out. Why every time I'm gone and they still do videos, are they just better? Probably less offensive. They never, I never get shadow banned. So it's because Michael's doing it. Oh, I forgot to show you. If you have a tail and shell titty covers, whatever they, you have a shell bra and a, and a tail, I think they call that a mermaid, then you need this door. So no, this is just my, my mermaid door. Maybe it's a merman door. I don't know. It's 2024. This might be for mermen. So thank you for, <laughs> please don't, please don't report me. I love you guys. Per gallon? Um, depends on whether you're a dealer or not and what's your pricing, but it's every, anywhere from like 64 to 99. So and that's very, like, call us up and look at our product, look at the reviews. So here's a chiseled edge we did actually here. I kind of like this one. Just a simple little corner countertop. This is double stacked MDF, three quarter inch MDF. So we get the true inch and a half height. Um, and then on this um, front edge, we actually took um, 20 minute joint compound and troweled it on here. Um, we're, I'm very patient with that too. I'll take time, several hours working this and then I'll let it dry for like up to 48 hours because I don't want to encapsulate moisture, but you pour over it and it gives you a really nice chiseled edge look. So. Jeanette wants the light bar. Oh, dang. I, I keep pre pre pretending I forgot about that. Um, we have our soapstone, our, what do you call this? Soap bone. I don't know if that's our, our geode. This is our purple geode. I don't know, it's just a fun, pretty one. Um, our sand, this is our beach, our ocean beach door. You know what? You know what? I don't know. I think maybe the sand should be on the top so you see it better. Gabe says that door. You do need a sparkly door, Gabe. More flooring samples here. Um, then we have. I, this is kind of basic for what I would do a lot, on a lot of countertops. If you gave me a, a variety of colors and you told me, hey, I just want a little bit of white, black, um, gold, gray, and let me go to town. I love doing just really simple kind of dirty patterns like this. You can make this look good to any size. You, I would, and I also, this is all glossy still, but I love to sand these down to about a thousand grit, take the shine off. Um, 
then I usually do diamond shield, but you can even wax them and it just looks beautiful. It's so leathered and, and smooth. Same with the black marble, we'll do that really well. And then I'll show you. Mary Mellons. Mary Mellons? You got, I forgot about her. I get trolled too often, so I forget about people that troll me. So here's our clock wall. We poured, this is like 200 gallons of resin that we poured. This is our countertop resin actually. So for backlit and we poured it on a rough panel so you couldn't, wouldn't be able to see through it. We wanted it to be like privacy glass and obviously it wasn't perfect on my first attempt, but I did learn quite a bit. Here is our new entryway table. It is our GUN table. Um, it's all the inert. Um, this is about 1,200 pounds. It's over 1,000 pounds, somewhere between 11 and 1,200 pounds. Um, we just got it back from the home show. It's badass. Our, here is our picture for our raffle. I don't know if you all can see it, but um, you, we, we will ship this to you. This is freaking massive, too. It's amazing. This is very beautiful in person. And I mean, unless you think it's ugly as hell, then maybe it's ugly to you. I guess art's subjective, so maybe this is ugly in person. But if you would like a chance to win this and have this shipped to your house, for, for 10 days, every $10 going to dignitymissions.org, we'll get a report on every single $10. So for every $10, you get entered into another raffle ticket. So if you gave 50 bucks, you'd get five raffle tickets for this. Um, and 100% of the proceeds, plus 100% from us as well, we're going to match, um, goes to Dignity Missions. You can look it up. It's awesome. They feed kids, drill wells, build a school. They're building a farm, sent people to agricultural school. It's probably one of the most successful missions that Dr. Ankana has been running now for several years that I've ever seen. So thank you guys so much for joining our live. I can't wait to see you, some of you in a class. The happy ones, just the happy ones. If you're cranky and bitchy, just watch online. You know, come to a class. We like those ones too. So I hope I see you in a class. Um, go, please like or like and follow. Please hit the notification bell too, because a lot of people are not getting notified. So um, and let us know if you're not getting notified when you go live. Um, please check the link in the bio for our classes coming up, and please sign up and come and see us. Talk to you later. You guys are badasses.